Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 93. This is Lost Context Part 2. We're going to looking regaining, uh, looking at regaining control after Lost Context today. And let's just jump right in. Here's the previous episode. We added the event listener for WebGL Context Lost, in which we prevented the default uh, to so that way we could go ahead and see the context getting lost properly. Um, so we have the context lost here, and this is the new one, and key up and key down is the same. So we're going to be pressing L and losing context and regaining it. Um, this time, though, we have added a new callback for WebGL context restored. The old one, we have now set cancel animation frame. Uh, we've also set a, a request ID um, on state here. Uh, and then we have also have this restore. Let's go ahead and look at that state request here. You can see in the animate, we have now stored that within the state. So we can cancel it appropriately. And then in the context restored, we basically have the same thing that we had uh, during initialization. Um, but this time we're going to go ahead and do it all over again. So that way we have the new context. So we're going to grab our WebGL again. Reinitialize our shaders, GL, frame buffer, state, and textures here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this does, and then I'll show you the problem with it, and then you can I'll leave that up to the uh, watcher to see it, figure out how they want to fix that. So, so here's the rendered uh, application. I've already rotated it, as you can see. Um, this is uh, how we would. Uh, be after I've normally rotated it. Um, I have a cube here, and as soon as I lose the context, it doesn't actually get redrawn, and nothing is actually able to be done anymore to it, um, because that's what the cancel animation frame is. So you can go ahead and fix that up however you'd like. So you know maybe alerting the user that user that the context has been lost, and then when we restore it, you can see that this object right here got reset. The angle. Uh, original angle though did not. So if we're over here and we lose the context and then we reset, we're still angled appropriately. But if we uh, change the object angle, then that gets reset. So that's uh, what we'll leave up to the user to fix, um, or you guys to fix if you'd like. But the reason for that is because when we're going ahead and initializing the state here, um, and we're creating these cube objects, all of these cube objects are basically new. And so they're going to end up with their own default um, uh, translations and angles. Uh, as you know, angle is what keeps track of the rotation like this. Uh, however, the it, within our state object here, our animation, or excuse me, our application I, that doesn't actually get reset anywhere. So that's why when we regain our context, we're still able to keep our angle appropriately, but the... Uh, individual cubes end up getting reset. So you can set that up in a different way where you're storing uh, those angles offsite or uh, in a different way, a more global fashion, such that when they're initialized, it can check to see if they're already there. And if they are, go ahead and load the existing ones. Obviously, um, you'd probably use the cell color uh, to make sure you select the, the ones appropriately. Um, and uh, that would be it. So you can use, obviously, each of these uh, cubes by the cell color. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and uh, the other social medias. Go to programtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. And uh, I am officially back. And have a great one. Thanks. Bye.